What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. What you guys are looking at is uh, Jeff Jones's Quacky Mirror deck that he ran for Nationals. Now, a lot of people were asking me about this deck um, when I posted his feature match, and I think a lot of people got turned on to the capabilities of Quacky Mirror and what they can actually do. I think a lot of it came showcased in that video, like some of their power plays and whatnot. The deck is actually more explosive than what people might imagine. Um, if you're like me, you didn't really initially think Quacky Mirror was a real deck, even coming into this format, or uh, excuse me, well, last format as today, we started new formats. And I guess seeing as believing, I found out about Quacky Mirror maybe about five weeks ago, just randomly watching on Dueling Network. I posted a couple of DN commentaries uh, featuring Quacky Mirror, and I was like, wow, the deck has a bunch of instant rank fours. I was like, Diamond Core is fucking real as hell. I was like, the deck has a lot of removal when you throw in the fire engine. I was like, this is actually a pretty good, capable deck that not a lot of people really know about. So let's go to a better view so you can see all the cards in case you want to know every single card that's in here. All right, we've got three Urnite, three Crusader. We've got Ice. We've got Double Bear, Gorilla, Wolf Bark. There's the Fire Engine. Three Max C, three Diamond Core, two Iron Core, three Tanky, Tencent, Double Lance, Dark Hole, Book of Moon, Soul Charge. He has three Phoenix Chain, two D Prison, uh, two Black Corner Heavens, two Wire Taps, Torrential Tribute, Solemn Warning, Bottomless. For the extra deck, he played Heartland Draco, uh, Ragnar Zero, Dweller, Roach. He played Sailboat, Rhapsody. Uh, he also had. 101, Diamond Direwolf, Cowboy, the Anti-Luminescent Knight. He's got the Gishki, Ixi. He has uh, Bujin Kagasuchi. He has Cardinal. And then he's got Double Tiger King. So these are the main two that you're going to be running as far as the Kwaki Muru go. They're both really good standalone monsters as long as you have a core so that they don't blow themselves up during the end phase. Uh, what's really good about them is not only are they both searchable by Tenki and you can additionally summon them with uh, Tensu, but they're both, they both have really good stats. Like this guy is 2k, this guy is 19, so you know, they go, this guy becomes 21 under fucking Tenki, which is pretty damn big, that's Cyber Dragon level, and he is basically the one card XC, all you have to do is reveal either Diamond Core or Iron Core, you get the special summon, another level 4 Quacky Mural Monster, so basically Crusader or Ice, uh, it can't summon itself, but he is basically the one card XC, you just reveal something, get another card, and then you can XC, usually they go into Tiger King, because then you keep your advantage, you get a Tenki or a Tencent, and get whatever you need from there. Crusader is no slouch either. Not only is he 1900 attack, but basically when he runs over anything in battle, which isn't that hard because he's 2k under any of the fire formation cards, you also have Lance to help you do that. He can search out any copy of uh, a Quacky Brew monster, and it doesn't, it can even be himself, so he's really good too. And then Ice. I didn't know that much about Ice. I had to read up on this card. It's actually really good because. His effect is he can discard any card in your deck, any of these guys, especially he has, it actually has a lot of synergy with Maxi. You know, everybody complains, oh man, I drew my Maxi after my opponent went ham or after they summoned, you know, that monster that I can't get rid of or whatever. Okay, well, with Ice, you can basically, you can discard that, you can discard any dead card, you know, against like Lightsworn, you can discard Wiretap or you can discard that Black Horn when you drew it and your opponent already has the monster, the Ophion on board. And then he gets to blow up any special summon monster. So it's like, he has ways of of combating you know monsters before their special summon i.e blackhorn and you know maxi and then he has a monster that can actually blow up shit after their special summon in addition you run the fire engine you've got double bear you've got gorilla so you have removal just out the fucking ass and then you've got wolf bark who is again another one card xc so you actually have four copies of one card xc's he played Maxi because, you know, going second sucks in Yu-Gi-Oh, at least it did during the time of the Nationals. I'm not sure if these are necessary anymore. And then there's this card, Diamond Core, that I talked about earlier. This card is so good. It actually makes this deck very similar to Bujin's. Um, this card reminds me of uh, Pandemic, uh, Infestation, and um, Evil Swarm. Basically, if you banish this from the graveyard, then none of your uh, none of your Quacky Mural monsters can be destroyed that turn and it's battle it's by effect so this is really good against the hat matchup you know they bottomless you banished you go plus one basically they torrential you banish you go plus one you can attack into a fire hand or your opponent goes mer attack then you have this basically to back you up so it's a really good card um i actually like tenson in here not only can you search it straight from the deck from a Fire Fist, uh, what's it called from uh, Fire Fist Tiger King, but a lot of times, like, your extra summon can be Urnite or it can be Wolf Bark, so your extra summon can lead into a, a full XC, you know what I mean? So the card is really good in here. Obviously, 
uh, like Lance just works with Fire Fist in general, and then it works with this guy too because you know you get the search if you run shit over his basic or his trap lineup is pretty standard. You know, Forbidden Lance. Uh, oh, excuse me. He has Phoenix Chain to stop attacks, also negate effects. I like that he was running Deep Prison in here because the hands are just a bitch. So it's like, why not? Well, you know, why lose your whole field to them when you can just run two copies of Deep Prison? Your opponent probably isn't going to expect it. And then you can basically just capitalize. Like in the in the hat mirror matches all over the uh, national stream, like Deep Prison was putting in some serious work. So was Wiretap. I look at this deck and I think. It's kind of like a mix between Bujin and Fire Fist, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm actually getting a little tired of Bujin, so this might be one of the decks that I play just because its playstyle is very similar with uh, Core being a protector of these seven monsters. You still run the, uh, you know, like Tinkies and Tencent, so it's still like Bujin like. You know what I mean? Splashing in bears and gorillas and stuff like that gives you tons of inherent removal. You basically, I mean, I get the special summon Kagetsuchi, so I actually wouldn't have to pick up that many new cards. I don't know. I think that this is a very solid pick. I would imagine that your side deck, especially in this format right now moving forward, is going to be kind of like anti-light hate, you know, to stop like Constellar base, or excuse me, stop artifact base deck, stop Bujin, Lightsworn, you know, stop uh, Heretic, stuff like that. And then it's going to be like graveyard base or graveyard hate base because... This deck doesn't really rely on its graveyard at all. So if you side in Soul Drain or if you side in Dimensional Fissure, you're gonna have no problems against a deck like Shadows, as none of their shit can trigger in the graveyard. But you know you can still activate all of your effects and keep it rolling. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that Quacky Mirror is a good deck? I think the deck is actually like I think it's viable. I mean I would rather run this than pure Firefish right now because. I feel like there, there's more explosive plays here. and I mean, these two motherfuckers are just really, really good standalone. Thank you guys for watching, as always.